How are you today? Something went wrong with my computer that it turned off. And I have to be again. Tell me how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you today? Yeah. Fine, fine. Fine. Let's charge the list. Okay, uh, I was checking the, the, the platform, right? And I found just two people that were missing, but the others, you had complied with everything. So congratulations, that was pretty good. And check. For today, we will have a little review of the present or the future going to right going to for future and we are going to have also a little review of the obligations that we have at work before we enter to the new topic right let's see uh, analysia present Present teacher. Okay, you look better. Much better. Carolina. Present teacher. Nice. Edwin Mauricio. Edwin. Grace Mitchell. Grace Mitchell. <laughs> Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, Juan Jose. Juan Jose here. Hello. Karen Viene. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo here too. Sí, aquí estoy, solo que estoy camino a la casa. Ah, okay. eh, Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. No, Carla Lorena. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. I try to. <coughs> Are you sick? Yes. <laughs> Take care. Take care, Maria Vanessa. Hoy le vamos a recomendar el whisky. Mentira, no va a ir a tomar whisky. Maria Vanessa. <laughs> Maria Vanessa, you're here. No. No, it's a bit. Present teacher. Rosaita. Present teacher. Teresa de Jesus. Teresa, no here, Teresa. Judy. Present teacher. David. Thank you. 
Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Sorry, me mencionó. Y me dijo present. Judy. Sí. Dije no, yo. No fui yo. No, no era yo. Ah, ah pues su gemela. Nada, sí le acabé de decir Judy antes de llamar a David y me dijo present. Teresa de, Teresa de Jesús. Present. Ok. Y Judy present. Present teacher. Cuando Judy. Lo <risa> del conocimiento, teacher, que todavía no he llegado Ay, a casa. Me imaginé. Sí. Marina, Vanessa. Okay. Marina, no here, but it, Marina. Que está pesadito el tráfico ahora. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Grace. Mauricio. Okay. Present teacher. ¿Quién? No, Edwin. Mauricio. Que tiene un tocayo. Está ahí. Ah. Edwin Mauricio también. Ok, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. todos los, los tocayos. Today, as I told you, todo se me cerró. Qué barbaridad. Okay. okay, now I'm going to share the screen. What my computer. Because I want to show that the presentation is open. Okay. Now, remember, yesterday we were making a review of this, but let's see. How, how do you make questions in the future? How do you make questions in the future using going to? Mm -hmm. Let's take turns asking questions. Are you the one that we read the questions? No, ask your own. Are you going to fix your, your book tomorrow? You going to fix your book tomorrow? It's supposed to be broke or something. Uh -huh. Are you going to fix? You said fix? Okay. Se le despega la pasta. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you going to fix your book tomorrow, Luis? Luis Mauricio. Yes, no. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Are you going to fix your book, your book tomorrow? Uh, yes, I'm going to fix my book. Okay, now ask a question to Juan Jose. 
Remember using going to. Okay. Are you going to go to the work tomorrow? Yes, I am going to work tomorrow. Okay, great. Okay, well, let's say ask a question to Luis Edgardo. Are you going to visit your I, parent this weekend? Yes, I go in the parent. I'm going to visit mm -hmm. my parents. Please. My parents. Mm -hmm. um, okay, ask Karen. Luis Edgardo. Okay. Um, veamos. Minuto, please. Uh, Karen is. Are you? Is are you uh, going to the business the mom tomorrow? Hmm. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to visit the mother tomorrow. My yes. mother tomorrow. Okay, great. Karen asked Isabel. Okay. Are you going to party next weekend? Yes, I'm going to the party next weekend. And Isabel, you asked David. <clears throat> okay, David. Are you going to run a master class? I guess they repeat. Are you going to run after class? Are you going to go? To run after class. Can you answer that question? She could have cameras. Remember that it is a requirement to be with the camera open, please. Not just for the teacher, it's for everybody. Hola, hola. Camaritas, camaritas, camaritas. Recuerden que no es opcional, es, es un requisito, chicos. Solo veo dos cámaras abiertas, nada más. Hola, hola. I'm open, teacher. Solo veo dos, tres cámaras abiertas ahorita. Hay varias, teacher, abiertas. Vamos a ver al otro lado, la segunda parte. Uh -huh. No. Nueve aparecen. Ahorita sí, ya abrió cámara, ¿no? Eh? Ya le voy a decir las cámaras que ve. Ah, hoy sí, mire. Hoy sí, pero acaban de estar casi todos con la cámara cerrada. Ah, hoy sí. Vale, recuerden que es un requisito de Insafor que ustedes estén con sus cámaras abiertas. Aquí todos están cerrados. No hay David, Carolina, Miguel, José Alfredo, Teresa. Uh -huh. A los que van de camino, pues sí, porque más tengan mi camarita abierta, porque sí. Vale, let's move to the next activity, check. We were also talking about obligations, right? Like what activities do you have to do at work? Let's see, Rosy. What activities do you have to do at work? Repeat, please, teacher. I don't understand. 
we here. Remember you were doing that activity almost at the end of the class? Um, Can you see my teacher. screen? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, uh, name, um, Luis. Uh, I have to the check the tracking for the uh, for uh, in container. Okay. They don't have to. Uh, I don't have to the work is the weekend. On the weekend. On the weekend. Mas uh, or me quedo ahí. Okay, if you're telling me about you, you tell me I don't have to, right? But if you're telling me about a friend or a partner, you tell me he doesn't have to, right? We substitute the don't for doesn't. Let me see the pen. Okay. And you say uh, he has to. Uh, has. Uh -huh. And if you're talking about a third person, he doesn't have to. Okay. Okay, another thank you, Ms. Edgardo. Another volunteer, teacher. You can tell me about you or about your partner, right? Uh huh. Another volunteer. Yesterday, Marina told me that she had to check her email every morning because she has to answer every email. And she doesn't, and she doesn't have to uh, be rude with her coworkers. Okay, excellent, thank you. Okay, Rosie, now Teacher borra esa clase, pero bueno. Uh, yesterday. That's yesterday's class. Yes. Okay. Um, Juan Carlos say uh, activities y special orders de. Juan Carlos has to. Juan Carlos has to receive orders. Um, how do you say proveedores? From the providers? Uh huh. Receive orders, providers, and. Providers. Providers. Mm -hmm. And he has, doesn't have to open the. The store. No. Well, no. Uh, Portón? Or the gate. Uh huh. Open gate. Or the gate. Have to open the gate. Thank you, Rosie. Let's see one more volunteer. Carolina. Carolina, hello. Carolina, Carolina. No teacher, lo tengo en el teléfono. From your memory. Um, yeah, whatever. I remember. <laughs> my partner yesterday with uh, David. Mm -hmm. yeah, man. If you don't remember about David, you can tell me about you. No problem. David. Um, David, I have to supervise the loading and unloading of containers. Uh -huh. David, I have to always wear okay. a PP. Perdón? No. David or you? Estaba leyendo la de David. Okay. David has, has to. Ah, okay. David has to. Has. Mm -hmm. Sería, David has to always wear a PP. I have to monthly expense review. And David sería, he doesn't have to. He doesn't have room inside the warehouse, warehouse. Okay. David, no, so it's he, he doesn't have be late for work. He doesn't have 
eight inside the warehouse. Okay. Finish teacher. Thank you. Okay, do you have any questions about this topic? Hmm? Remember you say, I have to, I have to, for example, you say, I have to open the office. Yeah, I have to open the office. But Anna has to. Right. Anna has to type a report. Remember, if we use the person has to, right? Has to type a report. Mm -hmm. So I have to, but Anna has to. Yes. And for example, if you're talking about negative, I don't have to, I don't have to. Where are you in the front, for example? I don't have to wear a uniform. What a letter. I don't want, I don't have to wear a uniform that. Let's see, Jose. So you tell me about you. Doesn't, right? Because you're talking about third person, that would be doesn't. Jose doesn't. Travel every day. So remember uh, that what is changing is don't to doesn't or have to has, right? Doesn't have to travel every day. Have to, yeah. Yes. Question over there. I have to open. Anna has to type. I don't have to wear a uniform. And Jo and Jose doesn't have to travel every day. Okay. Oh, uh, tell me about Isabel. What he doesn't have to do. Mm -hmm. Does he have to? He doesn't have to. Have to. Does he have to? Give a class. <laughs> uh, okay, he doesn't have to give a class. That's true because he's not a teacher, right? He doesn't have to give a class. Yes. Mm -hmm. What does he have to do? Okay, let's see. Tell me about Judy, right? What does Judy have to do in her job? What does Judy have to do? Judy has to um, write to write to what do you say? Uh, cotización. Mm -hmm. 
product reports. Yes, it's, it's the same. <coughs> I'm sorry. She has from, the, from, from the client. I remember. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh -huh. What is something that Rosy doesn't have to do? Rosy doesn't have to uh, chat in the in the in the because chat in the WhatsApp and <laughs> another another right <laughs> another network, but uh, uh -huh. she doesn't chat in the um, in the office. Probably with with her family. Mm -hmm. But remember that we are using doesn't have to like it's not necessary, no like prohibition, right? Prohibition is can't. That's why we said Isabel doesn't have to teach a class. It's not necessary because she's uh -huh. a teacher, right? Okay. Rosy doesn't have to Rosy, do you have to open the office? Yes, I have to open the office. Okay. So every day. You have to open the office every day. Okay. So we say Rosy has to open the office every day. And what is something that you don't have to do, Rosy? I don't have to clean the floor. Okay. Rosy doesn't have to clean the floor. So this is it's not necessary, right? It's not necessary for her to do it. She has to open, that's an obligation. That's part of her obligation. That she doesn't have the obligation to clean the floor because there is somebody else to do it. Yeah, so it's not necessary. So when you say uh, has to or have to, means that you that it is necessary that you do it but if you say doesn't have to or don't have to that means that it's not necessary that you do it right we're not talking here about prohibition no it's like there is no obligation right there is no obligation to do it and that's why i said i don't have to wear a uniform for me it's not obligation to wear a uniform Right? In some places for the teachers, it's an obligation to wear a uniform, but not for me. So know where I work, right? There is no obligation to wear a uniform. For example, here, Isabel, you have to drive a car, right? Is it correct? Yes. I had to drive a car. So we say Isabel has to drive a car, but he doesn't have it. Yeah. Okay. Any question over there, chicos? We can erase this because it doesn't look beautiful. And we can write other examples. Mm -hmm. I will need another volunteer to tell me what you have to do at work. Well, Peter, could you tell, tell us an example about mandatory in a negative way? The thing is that when you say that something is mandatory, that is have to, but if it is no mandatory, it doesn't have to. For example, imagine I have to I have to attend meetings, right? That's mandatory. 
that's mandatory. I, I have to attend meetings. That I don't have to attend the meetings in a presential way. Teacher, I understood, I understood the explanation about in negative way, it's not a, man, a man, mandatory. But I am asking you if you could, if you can explain me, how do you say something like an order in negative way in English? Like a what? Can you say, can you say that again? In negative way, for example, no recojas eso del suelo, for example. Ah, that is not an obligation. It's not a lack of obligation either. That's a prohibition. In that mm -hmm. case, you will say you can't. You can't. For example, imagine if, if I tell you, Anna, you can't cheat your partner's assignment, right? You can't because it is a prohibition. Yeah. So that becomes a prohibition, not just no obligation, but that is a prohibition. Yes. And then what we use is can't. Remember last week we were saying that you can use can to talk about possibility. Do you remember? And we were using a can for possibility, but we use also can't for prohibition, but negative is prohibition and affirmative is possibility, is ability, and you can also use it for asking for information as we were using it last week. Yeah, but in uh, as prohibition, you can only use can't or mustn't, but even must, must is more for a prohibition, but in a field, right? Like the, 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 the one that we use for prohibition, like that in negative, you can't. It's also a very strong or a recommendation. Imagine you travel and I tell you, you can't forget to bring me alborotos, right? But in that case, it's not a prohibition. It's that I, I tell, I'm telling you that it's not possible that you forget that, right? Imagine you go to San Miguel and you know last, last. The bread that they sell in San Miguel, what's the name? Tacas. La, what? Tacas. Tacas. So I know you're going to San Miguel and I say you can't, forget to buy two stacks, right? So it's not possible that you forget that, yeah? In that case, the meaning is that you cannot forget that. No, it's definitely not possible because we don't find them in San Salvador. The only place for you to find it is San Miguel. But you can also use can't. For example, if I tell you, you can't open that door, right? You can't go home before the time because it's forbidden, right? That's a prohibition. But in this case, we're talking about obligation and the obligation is only what I have to do, not what I don't have to do, right? So this is um, one of the models where the meaning changes completely if it is affirmative or if it is negative, right? It, will, it has completely a different meaning. So it means it's not necessary, right? It's not necessary. It is necessary, it is not necessary. So you say it is necessary to attend meetings. For me, it is necessary. That it's not necessary that I attend them in a presential way. So I can attend them virtual. Well, they are virtual, right? All meetings are virtual. Teacher, 
and if I'm talking with a, a person who is a superior a me, uh, like my boss, mm -hmm. I can use you have to or no, but it's, it's, more, it's more polite the way that I have to do. The thing is that uh, I cannot tell my boss what he or she has to do. They tell me what I have to do. Mm -hmm. that's, that, that's the situation. It's not that it's grammatically incorrect. The thing is that the, the position does not permit that I tell them that they have to do something. For example, I don't, I cannot tell my boss, you have to, you have to come and, and open the office early. Or, oh, hey, boss, you have to check that I have coffee. That would be like a lack of respect, right? But they can tell me you have to do it. So, because the, remember, I have obligation. Do you remember last course? when we were saying who we, that was the expression, who do we report to? Do you remember that? Okay, so I report to somebody, right? So I have obligations to that person, yeah? So, that's why I say it's not possible, right? That I tell my boss, you have to, hey, you have to pay me on time. <laughs> no, it's an obligation, right? That it, but I cannot tell them. That would be counted like a, a sacato, right? <laughs> like a lack of respect. So I can, I'm not in the position to say that. I'm not in the position to say that exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm not. But for example, if you see your boss picking up the dishes in the in the teacher's room, right? Picking up the trash or cleaning the tables and say, no, no, let me help you. You don't have to do it. In that case, you can, because you, you're being polite, right? You're telling you, you don't have to clean your, your boss, okay? That, in the other opposite, in the other side, like telling what they have to do, it's like, it's not. <laughs> yeah. So it's a, that's completely different. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if, if if this is clear for you, Chico. So you have any question? Any other question? Questions? No. Yes. No question, teacher. Okay. Nice. Nice. Let's go to today's topic. Check. There are different methods that customers can buy the products your workplace sell. Remember, one of these days we were talking about buying, right? Okay, now we come again. What are the methods? I need me move it because we're going to write something here. What are the methods that customers can use to buy where you sell or where you work? Mm -hmm. Do you sell products at your workplace? If no, don't tell me about your workplace, but about the different places that you know, right? Um, how do people buy? They go to the store, they buy online, they online, they point to the product, they move. For example, there are, there are some stores where the customer moves around the store, and fix the products, right? So the customer goes and say, hey, mm, I like this, so I'm going to buy it. I want this pen, I want a notebook, and I want a hair clip, right? And they, they can pick the things that they want to buy. 
But there are all like, the food, mm -hmm. like in the supermarket, right? So you're not pointing, you go pick things. But there are other stores where the customer, well, the owner of the store, or the, 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 the ¿cómo se llama? The seller, el vendedor. Ajá, pero tiene un nombre. El dependiente de almacén. Suena. Oh, lapsus brutus. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sí. Customer services, no. Yeah, no, because that is when you need help, right? Excuse me. Okay. When, when you need a... I want the warehouse news. Al clerk. That's the clerk. Okay. When the clerk, the clerk is the person who is there and an answer. For example, you you get there to, to buy something, and that person who is behind you sometimes, right? That can be the seller or the clerk. Sometimes they are behind a, a, a table. And the products are inside, you cannot pick them. So the clerk shows you the product, right? Shows the, uh -huh, shows the product the customer wants to buy. Mm -hmm. Another way, way will be by through catalog, right? Through a catalog. Okay, through a catalog. Another would be okay, online. Mm -hmm. Those are like some comma. Can you think of another another way or another method for buying? Okay, and I'm asking this because um, later on we are going to be using a couple of words that you use when you go shopping, right? It's these. Okay, how much is this? How much is this? I like that blouse over there, like that one. Yes, I like those jeans. Oh, I like these pants. Hey, I like these notebooks. Oh, I want to see those notebooks over there. So it depends on the type of store you are. You have the products near or the products can be far, right? So we're going to talk about that later. Mm -hmm. Now, look at this. How do you pay when you are Buying online. Look at these uh, words with different steps for buying or purchasing things online. You have credit cards information, credit cards information, a bit, pronunciation, credit card, credit cards information. Credit cards information, confirm your information and submit. Submit, that's a familiar word for you, right? Submit, mm -hmm. because when you're working in the platform, once you finish, you click in submit. Yes, okay, select the items to purchase. The item or items, right? Item, remember, item. And this is not new either because in Spanish we say item, right? That's, that has become very uh, common in our vocabulary. Go online or go to the online web page. Go to the online web page and write your billing address. What's your billing address? 
Do you remember we were talking about that? I guess it was Friday where we were talking about the billing address. That address where that you have in your when you when you give when you pay with your credit card, the billing address is registered in your in the bank, right? So they have your billing address registered and they know where they sell the bill. Mm -hmm. So that's the billing address. That address that is registered in your credit card's information that you give to the bank. Okay, then you have check the price. Price. Confirm the method. Repeat method. Method. Yeah. Here we have this price. Like sapato. Sapato. Yeah. Zorro. It's this sound. It's like this. And you have the other sound that we will be making in a couple of minutes. That is like in the, right? The, this, this. We, we tend to say this, but it's not this, it's this. Dientes en la lengua, right? This. Mm -hmm. This is como zapato dicho por los españoles. Bueno, un español dice zapato. 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 So. ¿Ah? Soy la. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ok, so is it? Is this. We say zapato. Right? But they say zapato, zapato. Then that's no una seta gringa, verdad, en inglés, porque ahí dice zapato, es zapato, zoila. They always tell me zoila. Teacher, eh, I, yeah, items eh, is equal que eh, es KU. Is I, I, oh, no. I, I don't know if I catch what you were telling me. The eh, es cayu son como, como el producto. Exactly. You select okay. the item, mm -hmm. select the item to purchase the thing, the object, right, to purchase. Mm -hmm. Payment, what's payment? What's payment? Somebody? What's payment? El pago, teacher. El pago. El pago. Uh -huh. el pago. pago, right? ¿Cuál es el método de pago? That's payment. Pay is pagar, right? That's the verb. But payment is the noun. Mm -hmm. Then log in to your account. I guess there is no new vocabulary here, right? We know it. Yes, am I correct? So you have a question about vocabulary. Uh -huh. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, what you're going to do right now here is Think about the order. What is the order? What are the steps to follow when making an online purchase? Prince is login to your account. Login. Login to your account? Okay. Yes. To me is go to the online website, web page. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. 
I don't see it. Go to the online. Go to the online. Yes. Go to the go to the online page. And then yes. the account. To your account. Yes. <laughs> of course, right? Um, and by your billing no. Which one? Write your billing address. Or select the item. Select the item to purchase. Uh -huh. I was thinking about that, right? Because I won't pay before choosing what I want to buy. Okay. Select the items to Select the item, select the item that you want to purchase. Okay. Once you select the item that you want to purchase, what take the price? Right. Check the price. Check the price, exactly. The screen is turning in the teacher. So, se perdió la screen. It's back again. Espérame que es que está bien loca esta cosa que no quiere que yo les muestre la pantalla. Pues sí. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Check the price. Okay. After you check the price, configure the method of payment. Confirm the method of payment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Confirm the method of payment. What else? Credit cards information. Did you put the credit cards information? Do you all agree with that? Oh, sorry. Did you for him? Confirm your information. Tell me. Mm -hmm. You will confirm the information before giving it? Yes. I confirm the other paper. Um, Number six is credit cards information. Okay. And number and then number seven is confirm, confirm your information. What do you have in number six? Credit card information. Uh -huh. And then the, uh, and then, what about number eight? Ah, 
write your billing address? It's a number six, <laughs> probably. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then we move this one. Move this one, right? And we put this one. Yes. Do you agree with me? No, I I don't know, but I think that number seven is number six and number six is number seven. What is the billing address? What is the billing address? Dirección de envío sería la última prácticamente. ¿Por qué? Antes para la información de la tarjeta de crédito. Why? It's okay. Yes. It's okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because imagine you pay. And once you have paid, they tell you no tenemos servicio a esta zona. <laughs> zona <Pero roja. laughs> right? Uh -huh. That's why the billing address is, is very important that you put it before. Because if no, if, if they don't give the service to the area where you live, they tell you, ah, so, so Mire que galán, que le gusta el producto y todo, ¿verdad? Pero, pero no. It's correct. Mm -hmm. That's why we have first the billing address. Vaya, ahí está. Let's move it a little bit more para que quede bien. Okay, questions here, chicos. No questions about pronunciation? No. Teacher, método, como dijo que se pronunciaba? Method. That's method. You have web page, no problem with web page, right? Account, account, purchase, purchase, item, item, method, method, payment, payment, billing address, billing address, information, information, Mention here you have the stress mention information. Teacher, what is the name from billing address? Billing address is the address where you're going to receive the product. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if it's not your address, right? It can be imagine if you're selling if, if you're sending some product to somebody else, the billing address will be the address of that person who is going to receive the product. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Okay, any other question here? Could you say the word purchase or purchase? Pur, purchase. Purchase. Pur, pur. Mm -hmm. Purchase. Okay. Any other question? Yes, yes, no, no. Okay. Now look at the attendant. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Let's see, time flies, right? Really, really 
fast. There we go, Ana Carolina. No, Ana Carolina. Ana Alicia. Presente. Carolina. Present teacher. Edwin. I'm here, Edwin, today. Grace Michelle. I saw Grace. Grace, 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 are you somewhere? No. Isabel. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Juan Jose. Present. Karen. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. No, Carla. Rigel Gato. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Marina. No era bien. Present teacher. Teresa de Jesús. Present. Yuri. Señorita Yuri Alexandra. Present teacher. Ya ven, si no le digo a Alexandra, no me <laughs> David. Present teacher. Ok, nice. Uy, gracias por recordarme, ¿verdad? Vaya, let's go back. So, we're talking about adjectives. These are called demonstrative, demonstrative adjectives. Aquí está el nombre. ¿no? Demonstrative adjective. The, mod, the demonstrative adjective is modifying a pronoun. It's modifying a pronoun. So you have here, uh, this word in bold like that you have here is a noun or a pronoun that is being modified, right? For example, shark. Shark is a noun. Lady is a noun, pero once is a pronoun. Yes. So the demonstrative adjective is modifying a pronoun. Mm -hmm. In this case, it is modifying a noun. What pronouns exist? Ooh, there are a lot of pronouns, right? Can you give me an example of a pronoun? Imagine, just to give you an example. Existen personal pronouns, que son los que nosotros conocemos, ¿verdad? I, you, we, they, he, he, she, it. Esos son personal pronouns or subject, pero subject pronouns, right? Tenemos it and there as dummy subjects, right? Uh, possessive pronouns, him, her, demonstratives, this, that, those, one and ones that are also pronouns, the pronouns in questions, who, cuando who es aparece en la Pregunta who is, a veces está actuando como pronoun. Los reflexive pronouns, myself, yourself. Hay un montón de pronouns y ya ni les digo más. ¿Ok? Pero aquí estamos hablando de que los demonstrative adjectives modifican a un pronoun. Yes. Y en este caso, el pronoun que vamos a utilizar va a ser one para singular only one one y si estamos hablando de dos o más vamos a usar más yes. si existe ones por ejemplo if you say hey I take this ones take this ones 
or take this one if it is only one. If you say, I, I need a, a computer, take this one, right? Take this one, take this computer. One is substituting computer. So you can say, take this one. Or for example, teacher, when you say that a screen, for example, perdón, that, ¿cómo se dice gritar? That shout. So scream. Who, who wants that shout, for example? Who? Who wants the one that shout? Or who shouted? Or who shout? Uh, uh -huh, who shouted? Sí, porque en ese caso, who está actuando como subject pronoun. Who is a subject pronoun? So estaría diciendo, who shouted? Ana shouted. Right? So who está sustituyendo el subject pronoun? Mm -hmm. Bye. But check. Most of the time, me voy a poner el fan que me huele a quemado. Okay, I need to call my computer. Now, check. So we say chart, chart, this chart is pregnant, this. This, if he says this, means that he has the chart very near, right? The chart is very near. That lady, that is far. Right, that lady is worried or looks worried. This one's this, like, like, like a smile, like a fake smile, right? This ladies or this ones, take this ones away. Now check, we have this and that for singular, right? We use them for singular nouns. And we use this and those for plural nouns. Yeah? Singular, this, this, or that, that. In plural, this or those, 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 right? Any question over there? Check. If I say this, this and this are near, but that and those are far. Yeah? Something that is near, but is singular, I will use this. But something that is near, but is plural, I will use this. Mm -hmm. Singular but far, that. Plural but far, those. And here we have some examples. So you say, this plate is hot. This plate is hot. This tells us the plate is near. Yeah, it says the plate is near. Now we have here some other example. Let me move it. Okay, can you, can you see? 
that ranch? Can you see that ranch? That means the ranch is far, right? Can you see that ranch? That tell us the ranch is not near. Yeah, the ranch is far. And then you say, these flowers, this. Yeah, these flowers. Let's move it a little. Okay. Let's separate it so you can see them better. So that, these flowers, I have a bunch of flowers, right? These flowers smell nice. The flowers are here. These flowers these flowers. I have the flowers here. They are near, right? But if I say, can you see that branch? Can you see that branch over there? That, it's far, right? It's not near. This plate, that's a plate. This plate is hot. It smell, it's making small, right? This plate is hot, it's near. Do not approach to those, those who in no way they will have those. Yo, Raya, ya eso es demasiado dibujar un dog. <laughs> Con mis dotes de dibujante. Okay, so you say, those do not approach to dogs, dogs, plural, right? Two dogs, you have two dogs. Or you have three dogs or four, but we're talking about plural. And they are no near, right? That means plural. Any question over here? Question. Yes? Yes, teacher. What is the meaning of problem? Aquellos. Aquellos. Uh... Aquellos perros that do not approach to those. Any other question here? No? Yes? No more question, teacher. <laughs> I have a lot of examples here. So you see, how many students? How many students? One, one student. One student, right? This student is new. That car, so I'm just going to make the arrow. Ay, mouse. La flechita chiquita para near. Y larga para far. Okay? That car over there. Right? That car over there belongs to the company. And then we have these students, plural, right? Ya no es solo uno, son varios. This, this, these students are new. Now I have, I have two students or three or four. These students, here I have only one, right? This student is new. 
these students are new. Yeah, I want to buy these shirts. I want to buy this. So you have the shirts in your hands, right? I want to buy these two shirts. Those car, those cars over there belong to the company. Here we have only one car, right? And here we have two cars. Han chocado, eh? So <laughs> here we have two cars. Yeah, those cars over there. So here I have only one car. Here I have two cars. Those cars over there belong to the company. Whose are those documents on the photocopier? Those documents. No estoy a la par de la photocopiadora. Estoy lejito y la estoy señalando. Those documents on the photocopier. His chair next to me is free. No es que sea gratis, está vacía. Right? Recuerden que free significa varias cosas. Está libre, está vacía, o está, no es, no es perdida, ¿verdad? Está gratis, no, pero no en este caso. Ok, this chair next to me is free. You can sit here, ya. Yeah. This chair, la silla está a la par mía, right? So I say this chair. Look at this photo. This man on the left is my uncle. Look at this photo. They have the photo here, right? The man, this man, this man, I'm pointing at the person on the left is my uncle. On this slide, you can see how sales increased last year. This slide, la tiene, la está presentando en el video, right? I love this song. Está saliendo la canción en el momento. So you can say, hey, I love this song. That gentleman in reception has an appointment. That, that one. Who's that bag on the desk? Who's that? Está señalando, está lejos, right? I like that green shirt in the window, please. Si va a una tienda, recuerdan lo que les decía antes. Y usted quiere comprar algo, pero está allá, está lejos. Entonces, señala. Right? I like that green shirt in the window, please. Can you pass me that pen? That pen, not this pen, that one. Este está allá, lejos. Any question here? No questions. Um, no questions, but the, um, the follow is a question using the this one. Using the, uh, Can you pass me that pen? That, Hmm? Okay. Uh -huh. Can you pass yeah. me that pen? Me puedes pasar aquel a que ser. Uh, aquel. Okay. Está allá. Right? <laughs> yes. Por ejemplo, eh, si están en la mesa, usted puede decir, can you pass me the salt? Mm. Pero solo hay una sal, ¿verdad? Yes. De salt. Can you pass me the salt? Pero si usted el que lapicero, hay varios lapiceros que usted quiere que está allá. Uh -huh. That pen, please. Solo por hacer el mal le digo, ¿qué? Okay. <laughs> no, 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 the exercise. What you're going to do now is choose the correct option. Choose the correct option. And the first, I think, is a, those steps to purchase what someone needs. It's necessary to follow. 
Why does and not that? Um, because it's a plural steps. Those steps is good. Nice. I think that I want to buy those big desks or that big desk. That big desk. That big desk. That big desk. Yes. Okay. Do you want to buy? This refrigerator or this refrigerator? This refrigerator. Uh -huh, because it's only one, right? Yes. I'm going to buy this two tablets or these two tablets with this credit card or with <laughs> this credit card. Uh, this two tablet and yes. this credit card. Yes. Okay, with this credit card. Okay, question. question. No question, teacher. Nice. Nice slide. I'm sure. Now, I'm going to send you to the manual. I'm going to stop sharing here. I'm going to send you to the manual. We will go to page number 20, page 20, exercise five. Okay, page. Okay. Here you have some other examples again. I want to buy this computer. You have to buy this shoes. We checked this stuff on the web page. You can pay with any of these credit cards. She's going to order that kid for her friend. They purchased those cards. And the company wants to buy that lift. Or oh, my coworker sold those products, right? Again, singular. Any question here? Question? No picture. Okay. Now go ahead. Let's complete exercise five. Write the correct demonstrative pronoun. This, that, this, and those. This, that, this, and those. No me Teacher, have a question. Now, number two, uh, jeans. Uh, no, it's a plural word. Jeans, yes. Jeans, pants, shorts, socks, sneakers, leggings, stockings, earrings. They are considered plural. Okay, thank you.
you know, sometimes we also use that and those, especially to talk about something from the past. That's the case of number four. That you use that or those to talk about something from the past. For example, when you say, I remember those years, right? Those, aquellos años. I remember those years, and you can use those. These years are the present, but those years will be the past years. You let me know when you finish. Number one. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. I know Rima Mauricio is ready. What about the others? Are you all ready? Yes, 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 yes. Mauricio, yes, right? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. What about the others? Another Luis. <laughs> yes, ready. You were born ready. Ah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Ready, ready. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm ready. Do you? Do you want to yes. buy the this towel? Bro, you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do you want to buy this? This. This or that? This, this tablet. This table. But you say, yes, I want to buy the black one. Okay. Mm, I want to. Mm. Is it near or far? Yes. It's far. It's far, yes. 
Do you want that, to buy that tablet? Yes, that I want to buy the black one. Right? It's, it's far. I don't see the the, the, <laughs> the answer. Okay. Can I see? I can see these jeans. These jeans? Is plural, is tense. The jeans near or far? Imagine, I have my scarf here. Far, far, far. Right? Far, what no. about if I say, can I see that scarf? And I have it in my hand, right? So in that case, I will have to say, can I see? I cannot say, can I see this scarf? Ya la estoy viendo, right? How much is this scarf podría ser? Oh, I like this scarf. Pero no, can I see this scarf si ya la tengo cerca y ya la estoy mirando, right? Eso, ese, can I see? Me da a mí la pauta de que los jeans no están cerca, ¿verdad? Porque los quiero ver. Ok, can I see those jeans? Can I see those jeans? Can I see those jeans? And the person says, sure, what size? Okay, my friend and I are interested on um, this makeup. On this makeup? Yes. Yeah, that can be this, no problem. <laughs> yes. Okay, what okay, about number four? Did you bring those? Uh, so, 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 this. Fíjense que aquí hay, puede haber doble significado. Si usted tiene el package allí. Imagine yo tengo este package. O tú no te vayas a desconectar. So I have this package. And I tell you, hey. Did you bring this package? Yo tengo el package acá. Did you bring this package? And you say, yes, I did. Pero, ¿qué pasa? Ahí hay doble, ¿verdad? Porque yo podría también decir, did you bring that package? Entonces, aquí tenemos como doble posibilidad cualquiera de las dos que usted puso está bien did you bring that package so yes I can did you bring this package yes I did so las dos son posibles ahí verdad dependiendo de ya allí en persona de cuál está hablando you yes. can't add dos this You can't add those. I think I I think it's a those because uh, the sweater is a four and to the chart is a far, probably. <laughs> What did you say? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I choose a those because it's a four sweaters and the says to the chart es probably que que están comprando online verdad ajá ajá porque dice cargarlo al, al carrito uh -huh, uh -huh. The, you can't add those for sweaters to the chart uh -huh. <laughs> okay that cart tendría que ser sin h okay but can i take two como cuando algo está en promoción, que no le dicen, o que le dicen que el máximo que puede comprar son dos. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? So yes. you can't have those for service to the church. Okay, can I take you? 
now, number six. I have to go by those. I have to go to buy new books. Those. <laughs> These new books or those new books? Mm. Those. Those. I think. I think. Those. Uh, those. Yes. Los tiene allí, están allá. I have to go to buy those new books at the library. Fíjense que a veces puede ser así como un poquito tricky, dependiendo de qué está hablando. Y por ejemplo, lo que es this para mí puede ser that para otra persona. Uh -huh. Depende del contexto y, la, y el Exacto. tiempo y el espacio. Yo estoy aquí, por ejemplo, si yo le digo, I want to eat this piece of bread. Para ustedes no es this. Para ustedes. Listo. That piece of bread looks delicious. Ok. Yes. But if I see that sofa, allá el sofa que está allá en, en detrás de David. It's very comfortable. Right? And then David says, yes, this sofa is very comfortable. Okay, para él está cerca, pero para mí está lejos. Right? Entonces, por eso es que ¿Qué vamos a hacer hoy, ustedes? You're going to move to exercise six. And you're going to create a conversation with a partner. One is a customer and the other is an agent. <coughs> and then you pretend that you ordered something online and you describe the agent, the product you are seeing on the internet. ¿Ya? Están comprando online. Están comprando online. So you will describe the agent, the product that you want to buy. Is that clear for you? Yes, probably. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Imagínense, aquí se va a dar el caso de lo que yo le digo. Si yo veo en el catálogo y le digo, I like this blouse here. I like mm -hmm. this blouse. And you say, that blouse is $50. So you're like, what? That's so expensive. Can I have this other one then? Yeah, sure. That is $16. Okay. Can I add it? Add it to the cart, you say, yeah, sure. You can add two to the cart. Okay, so remember, you're buying online. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to send you to the group. Los mando en pareja, vea, porque tú sí. I'm going to make six groups. Un trío va a quedar. There you go. Let's see. Make a conversation. You buy something online. And you're going to use this, that, this, and those. Alfredo, Teresa, and Judy. Vamos, Judy, try to join. José Isabel. Ahí está, muy bien, Judy. Teresa, vamos. Teresa, Teresa. Try to join. 
and ocean flavor too. Chequerense, la, la moví a otro grupo, a ver si ahí logra unirse. José Alfredo. Lo voy a mandar a otro grupo también. Vea la invitación, please, y trate de unirse. Hi, teacher. We are solving some problems about microphone. Can you hear Isabel, teacher? Isabel, speak, please. Isabel, say something. Say something. Me voy a traer a Juan José porque lo abandonaron. Hola. Me lo traje porque vi que lo dejaron solito. Pero después entró al cero. ¿Quién es? Solo que estaba, ¿verdad? Es, entró Yuri. Sí, yo vi que me lo dejaron. Vaya, este, Ana. Ana, Ana, you can practice with Juan Jose while Isabel fixes his microphone. Okay, Juan Jose. Do you have the uh, order? Sí. Teacher, ¿será que nos puede? Ah, ya estuvo. Ya pues, no, ahorita me acabo de acordar. Sí. Um, teacher, I need sharing the screen. You can do it. Ya podemos, okay. Yeah, you okay. You Thank you, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Adaptar esa conversación. Okay. Okay, yeah. Porque ahorita, si no me equivoco, es como la pregunta. Ajá. Eh, vos, por ejemplo, Ajá. te voy a poner en la voz. Ajá. Y te voy a poner de. ¿Sí? Entonces le pones a N. Y voy yo. Que sería. Eh, podría ser como yo te voy a estar como diciendo o mostrando, digamos. Ficticia, ficticiamente el, el qué tipo de, de reloj con lo que tenemos, ¿verdad? Exacto. Uh -huh. Yo te voy a, te voy a poner eh, Do you want to buy? Si me meto a esa parte eh, sería así como Hi, Rosy. You are the agent. <risa> es en línea. En línea no es una conversación así. Yes, because the 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 account uh, for empresa or I don't remember do you say empresa. <risa> But when you you send the message Uh, uh -huh. probably is hi or hello 
and the agent says, hello, it is, this corporation is an, uh, and other things. <laughs> pues no, porque, es, es, vaya, digamos, no, no, usted elige un producto, ahorita me envía el mensaje para ver, ojalá no me manden el producto, que ya no lo quiero. Este... <laughs> Vaya. <risa> vaya, manda, este, vaya. Ahí dice, eh, dan tres opciones, hacer pedido, costo de envío y forma de pago. Ah, ok. Uh, sería uh, hacer un pedido, make, no, sí. Yes. I need, I need, I need buy a microphone or karaoke. You... Que a veces también ponen así como ha solicitado. Oh, you need. Uh -huh. Es que no me gusta trabajar así bajo presión porque no me fluyen sí. las ideas. <risa> bueno, no sé, pero que a veces, ajá, cuando están todas las páginas, preguntan eh, directamente también y le dicen este, que, si que si desea este, directamente comprar o solo información uh -huh. acerca del producto. Need, entonces aquí sería you need buy or information. Así se escribe, corríjanme si me equivoco. Ok. Order. Yes, sería, uh, yes, I need to the order and select uh, and phone was cellular. Um, uh, at phone, sería. At phone. Okay. Yes, I need you the order and telephone. Okay, I need order a, te, um, a cell phone. And cellular. Sí, and cellular. O a cell phone is equal. Uh -huh. Okay, a cell phone. A cell phone. Y ya ahí sí, ya le, con, ya le contestaría eh, a... Do you... Eh, veamos. Eh, I, wa, I was to, to buy this. Eh, no, sería do you want. Que ver, tú quieres comprar. No, do you like. Le gustaría da, dar para que dé opciones. Eh, uh -huh. I want to. Sería, do you do you like to buy? Uh, um, para como preguntar, ¿vale? ¿Gustaría comprar una marca en especial? Sería do you, do you like to buy? Sería de. <ríe> pues no sé si marca sería. O, o, o lo ponemos en colores, más fácil. Ah, va, ok. Eh, eh, how, how light do you no sería do you like to be black or white color? Okay, do you like to be? Do you like to be black or white color? Or white color. Yes. Pero a dónde podemos eh, veamos, okay. Aquí hay like that. Sí. Pero, I like. Ese... Black color. Ajá, I like that black color. 
Sí, solo um, sería... Eh, de que hay bastantes bastante productos de... de que necesitan un tema de, de regente. Ya terminamos, Tichem. Finish. Excelente. Sí. Excelente. Finish. I'm going to call you next week. Por eso estamos hablando. Nice guys. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> You're back. Yes. I will. And, and I will. my partner is done. He's done back too. <laughs> I will listen to just two volunteers. Mm -hmm. Jose Alfredo, le toca quedarse hoy. Jose Alfredo, are you here? But cool. Eh, who's presenting, Luis? Juan José y yo. Ok. Ana, go ahead. Juan José, are you ready? Yes. Ok, good morning. Can you show me these shoes, please? Of course. This black one. Or the gray ones? The black ones. And the conversation number two. Now you start, eh, Juan Jose. Good afternoon. Can you tell me how much it costs these jeans? Sure, it costs $30. Thank you. Okay, great. Just remember that jeans are plural, right? How much, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. how much are those jeans? Can you tell me how much are those jeans or these jeans? Depende, están cerca o lejos, pero eh, plural. Mm -hmm. Y the same, shoes, plural. Can you show me those shoes? Those jeans. Mm -hmm. Those shoes, porque están eh, plural también, los shoes. Can you show me those shoes? Okay, very good, thank you. Ana and Juan Jose, right? Excellent, thank you very much. Now, I need two more, no, ya no, vea. Mañana voy a escuchar otro par de volunteers. <laughs> si no me va a decir, tengo sueño, tengo hambre, me quiero ir a dormir, me quiero ir a comer. Vaya, yes. Ana Alicia. Yeah. <laughs> Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carolina. Present teacher. Present. Edwin. Eh, Grace Mitchell. A mí me pareció ver conectada a Grace Mitchell un ratito, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver qué le pasó. Isabel. 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 Ah, Present teacher. Funciona el micrófono. Hoy oh, ya lo logré arreglar. Muy bien. Present José teacher. Alfredo. Great. José Alfredo. José Alfredo, hello. Se nos perdimos al pedo. Juan José. Hello, present. Juan José. Yes. Hello. Eh, Karen. Present, teacher. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. No sé, no sé qué le pasó, pero estaba conectado. De verdad. Luis Edgardo. Present, teacher. Eh, Marina, José David, José David, Rosa Rosailda, present teacher, Teresa de Jesús, 
Teresa, 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 Teresa. Yo vi a Teresa, ¿verdad? Yuri. Present me. Alexandra and David. Present teacher. Excelente. Teacher, okay. Teacher no me mencionó. ¿Mm? No me mencionó. <laughs> Carla Lorena, Luis Edgardo, y después Luis Mauricio. No me creo. Sí. Luis Mauricio, es que un día me salto a uno y otro día a otro. No, qué pena. Vaya, Luis Mauricio, present. Okay, present. Ayer, ayer fue David, ¿verdad, David? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Everybody complete. Y Juan, no, José Alfredo. José Alfredo. No estaba, parece. Pero, o sea, sí estaba conectado, pero desapareció de repente. Yo, porque le dije que se va a quedar conmigo. Bueno, me oré el café. No, pero no sé qué pasó. Well, see you tomorrow. No me mencionó, teacher. See you tomorrow. ¿Ah? Qué bien. Ah, see tomorrow. you tomorrow. Está así por ahí. Teacher, no me mencionó, creo. No mencioné. Ay, no. Le no. no, no. Teacher, es que dijo José Noé, por eso también ah. yo me dormí. Ajá. Ah, ok, eso fue. Oh, ya no funciona la cabeza a esta hora del día. Ok, vamos a Voy de regreso. Carla Lorena, Luis Edgardo. Luis Edgardo. Sí. Present teacher, Luis Edgardo, present. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa. Oye. Present teacher. Sí. Teresa, Rosa, Hilda. Present, teacher. Teresa de Jesús. Judy. Present, Miss. And David. Present, teacher. Ah, perfect. Hoy sí estamos todos completos. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Enjoy. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Teacher. Good night. Ya no dijo quién se iba a quedar, perdón. No, no, José Alfredo. Ah, ok, ok. José Alfredo, le toca quedarse. Good el, night. El 7 de mañana es Juan José. Ok. Quiero ver Luis Edgardo, le toca quedarse el lunes. Ok, no hay problema. El día número 10, como empezamos martes, ¿verdad? Ajá, el lunes le toca. Es el okay. día del examen, así es que adelante a <risa> ok, good night. Y el día del examen le toca. José okay. Alfredo. No está José Alfredo. Carolina también se quedó conectada. José Alfredo. Ok, good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Blessing. Tomorrow, Judy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Carolina, hello, Carolina. José Alfredo, hello. Hi, hi. Hello. Hello, hello. José Alfredo. Are you there? I see you. Hi, hi.
Hi, hi. I don't know if you can hear me. Sorry, teacher. Hi, hi. ¿Qué le pasó? <ríe> Creo que me apagué a mitad de en algún momento. <ríe> Tengo rato de estarle hablando porque a usted le tocaba quedarse ahora conectado. Sí, <ríe> eh, Creo que el día fue demasiado pesado en realidad. Eh, no sé. <ríe> Me quedé con que cerré los ojos. Hmm. Okay, sí. tell me, do you have any questions about today's class? No. Es eh, un repaso sobre lo, unas cosas anteriores y el pronombre demostrativo. Creo que en ese punto me apagué. No, sure. Uh, estamos bien. En realidad, bastante gracias por, porque las clases anteriores he comprendido varias cosas que um, antes me quedaba como que muy cerrado. No, no pasaba de ahí. Y ahora las comprendí demasiado rápido. <risa> Sí, estos son los demostrativos. No questions about them. No. Okay. Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo ha sentido la plataforma para ir haciendo las tareas? Bastante, ¿cómo decirlo? Sencilla y amigable okay. para poder llenar todo. Lo, logró, ¿Logró encontrar el, el, 
el área donde tienen que completar las preguntas de discusión. Quiero ver, preguntas de discusión, como el foro. Ajá. Sí. Sí, sí. No le dio problema. No. Ah, como estudia en la universidad, ¿verdad? Es prácticamente, pues, la misma plataforma, siempre el foro para ir completando y contestando. Sí, la verdad es que es bastante amigable. No, es tan no, no le ha dado ningún problema. No ha sentido que nada le, que, pues, sí, que le dé alguna dificultad. No, por el momento no. Ok. Vaya, para la próxima semana vamos, eh, quiero ver. Vamos lunes, es el día 10, ¿verdad? El día 10 de la clase. Entonces, para ese día tiene que tener completada hasta la tarea número 10, el mm. examen de medio curso. Sí. Oye, así es que ahí tiene cuidado, porque después de la clase número 10, adelantito está la, eh, el examen de medio curso. Entonces, uh -huh. esa semana toca un poquitito más, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No solamente las tareas, sino que también el examen. Ok, sí, claro. ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿No? ¿No question? No, no, okay. pero no, no, no. Muchas gracias. Ya, pues, váyase a seguir durmiendo. <risa> <risa> eh, disculpe, en serio. <risa> ok. Si de repente yo pasando lista ahí, José Alfredo, y José Alfredo, y José Alfredo, me dicen, teacher, no dijo quién se queda, sí se queda José Alfredo. Pero <risa> creo que huyó el video para no quedar. No, a ver, si no sé ni en qué momento, ¿qué pasó? <risa> se desconectó. Así como mi compu al principio, que de repente, ¿qué pasó? <risa> No respondía. Me dije, ¿qué pasó? Se de... Pero si ahí estaba. Y me voy a buscarlo si ahí está. A saber qué le pasó. Que, que de repente simplemente se, se, se perdió. Se, se le perdió, se perdió, se le... <risa> Lo peor de todo es que tengo que madrugar. ¿A qué horas? Eh, hasta cara sucia. Mañana. Así que antes de las seis. Ah, pues, o sea, vivo en San Salvador. Y wow. ahí por San Sonato. Ay, <risa> bueno, definitivamente vaya a dormir ya. <risa> <risa> Muchas gracias. Ok. Good night. Good night. Take care. <risa> See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.